Hello everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you with a project share. So I'm going to show you this um, card with a shadow box inside. Uh, and I created this project for Craft O'Clock YouTube channel. The full step-by-step -step video tutorial for this project will be on Craft O'Clock YouTube channel, which I'm going to link at the end of this video and in the description box below. So you can check out uh, if you want to know how I created uh, this um, shadow box card. So uh, that's the collection I use. It's a collection called Greenery Invitation. And it's, as you can see, it has beautiful color palette, creams, whites, greens, lovely, beautiful papers. As you know, Craft O'Clock, they are always having beautiful papers. And this is beautiful page because even on the reverse of front cover, they uh, do put some design. So this one has eucalyptus leaves, more uh, leaves and beautiful green uh, uh, design. This one, again, beautiful floral composition. Uh, this one is quite plain with some wood effect, some lace. Um, this collection, if I will be able to find a link or a shop in the UK which has this collection, I'm going to link it below as well so you can check it out. If you are interested, because this collection I think is really pretty for anything like um, wedding invitations or wedding cards, because they do have actually extra sheets for fussy cutting with those elements as well. So you can check it out. Uh, I will try to find a, a shop which uh, carries this. If not, then um, of course I will not be able to add it. And for the shadow box, I use this uh, shadow box 5x7 uh, die uh, set from Crafters Companion. As you can see, it has so many different uh, cutting dies in this set that it's really pretty uh, to create. Uh, this and uh, this shadow box is very easy to uh, to put it together anyway you will be able to see it in my step-by-step -step tutorial on craft o'clock youtube channel so that's the front cover as you can see elements are layered on 3d foam pads just to give more dimension and to for for the project to look really nice and pretty I only added a few uh, embellishments like those dew drops over here in the corner I didn't want to add uh, flowers uh, or anything else uh, I kept it quite simple uh, on the front and of course every single side is decorated uh, so yeah it will look really nice and professionally finished so I hope you will like this product and that's the inside so look at it it has this beautiful shadow box and uh, elements layered and i kept this space uh, blank because i'm thinking that if i'm going to give it to someone i'm going to put the name of uh, of the boy over here and of course i've got those two drops on here as well i created the pocket with my favorite punch if you don't know my favorite punch there is a video tutorial i think in, in january where i showed you my favorite tools and uh, um, other things which i love using uh, like almost in every single project and uh this panel a white card uh, which uh, measures i think for uh, four and one quarter by six inches to write some wishes or maybe even to add a, to add a photo so uh, you can use it for many things uh, or you can uh, keep one side blank it's all up to a person who's going to use this uh, as a, a special gift i might actually use it <laughs> For, uh, to send it to someone because my, my nephew is having a first communion in uh, on the first weekend of may and we are invited so i'm keeping my options open uh, so uh, that's the pocket i use that uh, border pant by martha stewart i cut out the flower and um i think those are the eucalyptus leaves as well and i place it underneath it 
and uh, of course every single side is decorated even around that shadow box and shadow box as you will see on that step-by-step -step tutorial i use the elements for facet cutting and i place them and of course layer them on foam pads and i think it looks really nice and of course i kept this uh, place blank to put the name of the recipient as well so i hope you like this one this shadow box card can be done for so many different occasions it could be for weddings as well could be for birthday could be for anything you want so if you know how to create your own shadow box without any cutting dies i might actually do a video tutorial how to create a shadow box without cutting dies but of course i need to add it to my list <laughs> so um that's it about this project uh, let me know what do you think about the, uh, the collection um do you like craft o'clock but because i think quite a few of uh, you who are watching my videos they are uh, getting to know craft o'clock and i i know that you like it as well the quality of paper the designs and everything about them the elements for fantasy cutting that they are double-sided that you've got the same image on the reverse it's just so many tiny little details which makes uh, those uh, papers by craft o'clock super special and such a fantastic product to work with actually so i'm really happy that i'm on a design team for craft o'clock and i hope i will continue working for them so thank you so much for watching let me know about it do you like this uh, shadow box card have you created anything like this before uh and yes overall what do you think about it so thank you so much for watching if you want to see step-by-step -step tutorial go over to craft o'clock youtube channel to see full step-by-step -step tutorial for this project so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye for now